<laughs> hey hey welcome back to the channel it's awesome that you're tuning in so in this video we are going to do something a little bit differently we're going to do a collaboration with some fellow video creators because in the jungle of game boxes because in the last year i think 2021 was more like the invasion of these things and there are so many out there so i asked my fellow creators which boxes were their favorites and what should they recommend but not only like what box do you like to buy you can also make one for not a lot of money most of the boxes are basically based on Emil Alec or Bodasera and you can just grab yourself an old PC get yourself an Android box that costs not a lot of money and can make something pretty damn cool I asked my fellow creators to do some let's say digging through the piles of stuff and ask them if they can basically show their favorite way to play because it gives you maybe some new inspiration how to use Emil Alec or Bodasera Get yourself a new Android box, mini PC, or just a complete kit so you're ready to go. But okay, so let's go to the first person for this collaboration. For round number one, I have chosen Team Pandori. They are responsible for unlocking the Pandora's boxes with their software Pandori tools. So basically that is unleashing the beast if you ask me. But nevertheless, they make a lot of great other reviews regarding arcade, steering wheels, TV boxes, Android boxes, you name it, they make an awesome video about it. And I just wanted to know from him what is his favorite way to play. So Tim, let me know what is your favorite way to play. Hey guys, thanks for having us. This is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. Did you say PC? I say Taito Type X. <laughs> you can pick these up for $100 and you simply cannot beat them for the price. Get the Dell Optiplex, is way better! Uh, no GPU with a crappy power supply, get out! With an Intel i5 processor matched with a GeForce GTX 960, it can play any arcade game you throw at it. King Fighters 13. My is hot. Tekken 7. Asuka, yes please. And how about Ultra Street Fighter 4 linked up? These lovely girls can join me in my hot tub. But we were asked for a mini PC. Let's start out with the Raspberry Pi 3. Yes, I know what you're thinking, but this is where my journey started out. You could emulate many systems, you could stream your PC to it, and it was so small that you could hide it under your telly. What's under my TV now? Hmm. Looks like a bit of an upgrade. This is a mini PC powered by the Intel J4125. It's still very small. It's not the size. Yet it has a two terabyte hard disk drive in it. It has Windows 10 at stock, but I predominantly use it for Batocera. Get the control pad, sit back on the couch, and play. It's somewhat comforting to know that every game you cared about from your childhood is packed into this one small box. The upper limit being upscaled PSP, and Put Put joins the parade. Seriously, if you have kids, the Scum VM games are excellent. And another great thing about Batacera is you have a video player in the main menu. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes, it's a duck blur. My choice for a mini PC? It's the J4125. Any of these, to be fair, are excellent. You could get a faster one, sure, but with speed comes size. And this one is way too big for the misses. My use for a mini PC may greatly vary from yours. And to this day, I cannot justify purchasing a premium model to only play AAA games. What is best is purely based on opinion. If you enjoy your device, use it. Okay, so the next guest is Retro Game Core. And this is basically the guy who makes a lot of great handheld tutorials, but he also has a soft spot when it comes to emulation and mini PCs. So in this collaboration, I asked him to like, hey, what is your favorite, let's say mini PC? And what are the things that you like to play on? I was really curious about that too. So I asked him because he's a big fan of the emulation part and he made a lot of great tutorials on his channel. So I would say, Ross, what is your favorite hardware to play? 
Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So Wicked asked me to show off my favorite mini PC that I do retro emulation on. And honestly, I had to think about it a bit because I do a lot of reviews of these mini PCs and I like a lot of them, but for different reasons. Well, it turns out the one that I settled on kind of surprised me. It's this one here. This is the AWOW mini PC stick. And this little guy is not the most powerful PC stick in the world. In fact, it's not really all that powerful at all, but the sheer portability of it is kind of cool. Let's check it out. Okay, so this thing is running an Intel Celeron processor. It is the J4105 chipset, if you want to look that up. It's got a couple USB-A ports, which are great for controllers. It also has a micro SD card and can be powered via USB-C. On the back, it has a mini display port and an ethernet connection. And of course, being a PC stick, it does supply an HDMI out signal. You can also use an extension if you need to. And while this thing runs Windows, this micro SD card slot is the real kicker because you can load up Botticera, which is a Linux-based operating system and then turn this thing into a mini gaming machine. And this thing is mini. Look at how it compares against a stick of Kerrygold butter. In fact, it's a little bit smaller than a small Bluetooth controller like this one from 8-Bit Doe. And so let's boot this into Botticera here and give you an idea of what the experience is like. So I've loaded this up with my favorite games and it's just a really nice navigation experience. You can just jump right into any of your favorite classics. In fact, arcade is probably one of my favorite things to do. You can do everything from classic arcade games as well as both vertical and horizontal shoot 'em ups. And of course, beat 'em up games are gonna be a blast on this too. And this is powerful enough for some of the higher end fighting games too. In fact, Killer Instinct 1 works great. Now, aside from being an excellent arcade system, this $200 mini PC stick can play all the console games too. Here we are with NES RC Pro-Am. Man, I love that music. And of course, 16-bit era stuff is gonna be fine too. And one of the things I love about Botticera is that it has these nice bezels that surround your TV and just give you a nice gaming experience. And when you move it up to some of the harder to emulate systems, things like Nintendo 64, you can actually upscale the 3D graphics to give you an even better experience. Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast and even PSP can all play at 720p. And so yeah, I think when it comes to overall home console and arcade experience, for $200, this is a pretty good bang for your buck, especially considering the form factor. Now it can handle a smattering of GameCube games, but you're gonna have to play them at a 1x resolution, and even some games like Mario Kart are gonna have a little bit of stuttering. But the main reason why this one's my favorite is because it's super easy to hook up to a projector like this one here. What we do with this is we basically will plug the PC stick directly into it, and then we'll take it outside and project the screen onto the side of our house. And it gives us the opportunity to go out and play games as a family in the middle of the yard, and it's just kind of a fun experience. And so yeah, there are better mini PCs out there and you can probably get some better bang for your buck too. But I can't overstate how much I love the portability of this thing and it plays all the games I really wanna play anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this little segment and check out my channel if you want. And thanks for Wicked for having me on. We'll see you next time. Happy gaming. All right, thank you Ross for joining. So next up, I wanted to take a close look at ETA Prime. He is a machine, an influencer from the future. He comes to influence us and tell us how to emulate games. Even like if you want to play it on a banana, it's freaking possible or <laughs> just kidding, of course. But he's maybe not an influencer from the future, but he is the king of emulation. He builds so many crazy setups to play some games on 4K that have never been played on, like say high resolution before. Absolutely crazy. He did tutorials, all kind of things. Nevertheless, I just asked him like, what is your favorite way to play? So let's go. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime. My favorite mini PC for emulation has to be the Lenovo MP93. If you watch my channel, you know I go through a lot of little mini PCs, but this has stuck with me for a few years now. These are available for as low as $80, and sometimes you can even pick these up for free from your local college. There's really nothing special about these except for the form factor and the price. This is powered by a 4th gen i5 CPU, so we've got those built-in HD 4600 graphics. And when it comes to storage, you could always run everything from a USB drive with something like Botocera or even RetroPie, but I usually install around a 256 gigabyte by SSD in here and run Bato Sarah. You could go with Windows or a different version of Linux if you want to, but this will do Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, PSP. It'll do some PS2 games. It's not the best at PS2, but when it comes to the Dolphin emulator for GameCube and Wii, it's definitely got you covered there. It's really not powerful enough to do the higher end stuff like Wii U and PS3, but we still got thousands and thousands of retro games that you can emulate on this little machine, and you can pick one of these up and configure it for around the same price or sometimes even lower than the 
the Raspberry Pi 4, and we've got a lot more power here with this x86 CPU. So yeah, my favorite little device or mini PC for emulation is the Lenovo MP93 Tiny, due to the form factor and the price. Like I mentioned, it's not the most powerful little mini PC due to the fact that we only have that 4th gen i5, but there's still thousands and thousands of retro games that you can emulate at full speed with this machine, and this is one that has stuck with me for a few years, so this is really kind of my go-to. Alright Mr. Prime, thank you for joining this collaboration. And I also want to give my personal two favorite boxes I'm using and love to mess around with. So the first one is basically the S905 A3 called the Super Console X Max Plus. Yeah, what a name. But basically what you're going to get is the X3 series when it comes to the chipset. And this thing is capable of running a lot of old school games. And that is what I really love about it and of course in combination with the good cooling. So it's not like the old stuff that we've seen before that you cannot really upgrade. Yep, you can upgrade this thing. It also comes including Emulalic 4.3 and even some Android 9.0. So if you want to like load up a lot of old school games, think about Atari, 8-bit, 16-bit, even up to PlayStation 1. The cheap box is very capable of running this all. And with this latest model, we even have the option nowadays to play some Sega Dreamcast. Some games will not run on the fastest speed. N64 will have some issues with some games. A lot of, let's say, launch games are playable, so that's pretty damn cool to run it on a cheap box like this. But why you see the box really struggling, that is basically when it comes to PlayStation Portable. Some games are playable, but this is the reason why I basically want to have this mini PC. And this mini PC is almost the same price like the Super Console X Max Plus. But when you compare the power and the emulation performance, it's going to be slightly better than the Super Console X Max Plus. And that will result giving you more games to play. For example, the results that you can play some Killer Instinct in MAME. MAME is a great system and also runs on the Super Console X Max Plus. But it doesn't have the option to play the more demanding games, including some Tekken. And there, where this is a tiny box, basically shines the best and also have more options to play. And you're not paying a lot of more money for it. Where we struggled with PlayStation Portable on the Super Console X Max Plus, this mini PC has the option to play a lot of cool games. Think about Tekken 6, think about a wipeout that didn't have the full speed when you're going to play it on an Android box. And that is what I really love about the combination with these boxes and also the reason why I wanted to show you this push this box to its limit you can notice with gamecube it will struggle with some games less demanding games basically run okay or good enough to have some decent playable gameplay but again you need to have more juice to play some places too and gamecube and other devices so these are my two mini machines i really like but again like there are so many ways to play let me know in the comments which version did you like of all of the let's say shown products what version or what kind of product do you prefer do you like i mean i like on an android box or do you prefer to have bodice here or something else thanks for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell become the wicked family and if you want to see the other youtube channels i will leave a link in the description and it would be great to see you in the next video